here we are back at uh, another mile and a half, except this time it doesn't suck because it's Atlanta and you gotta drive this place, unlike the other one and a half miles where you're wide open forever. This one you're only wide open for one or two laps at most, and then it actually starts to feel a lot like the older race cars, you know, the ones that were good. And really, that's my only problem with this current cup car is it's just too slow and too grippy. But Atlanta changes that because there's not a lot of grip here. So anyways, keys to the race card. Number one, tires, especially tires because, you know, this place eats them pretty rapidly, actually. So yeah, number two is a big one because we got multi-groove racing back so you can run right up next to the wall. Though it does take a while for it to come in because, you know, the first 14 laps here, a little bit faster on the bottom than once you get to that 14, 15 lap range, it starts to actually become quicker up top. And you can also use it to get out of dirty air, which takes us to number three, which is dirty air. You know, you can actually feel the push on the front end when you're behind somebody, so you can use different lines to get away from that. So experiment with that in the race. And number three would be, I guess, pit strategy races. Usually go green and pit road entry would be important. Maximizing everything and all that. So we're going to do this little pit road thing here and then we'll uh, get to the lap. All right, here we are making our way to pit road. Want to start braking. Stay as close to the way as you can before you turn down onto it. Down to 50 miles per hour. We fast forward like I always do. There's your pit exit cone, start accelerating. I try to get as close to the white line without going over it because there's a lot of grip here. And here's something I'll mention. Once you get to the exit of pit road, it kind of has a little more banking, I guess. And it kind of wants to spin you right there. So be aware of that. So let's get to the lap. All right, so I'm gonna show two laps for this reason that I ran quicker. You know, my second lap and I drove these two laps slightly different. But we're only going to talk in detail about the first one. As usual, fixed setup, fixed weather, made zero changes to the fixed set. Like none at all, no break bias or anything, just how it is out of the box. First lap was a 30.095 and the second was slightly quicker at an 8.4. So let's uh, see how these laps were done. Then we'll talk about that one in detail. So here we go. Alright, so I guess the laps weren't too much different. But the second one I think is better for... I guess ease of driving, lifting a little more than I did the first lap. And that's really hard to do. Wide open with the fixed set. Car's really, uh, kind of pushes right in the center. And then it gets really loose off. Just a weird driving car. I don't like it, but that's the fixed set. And just gotta deal with it. So I said the first lap we're looking at, right? So, let's make our way into one. Slow-mo this. Usually this black thing here on the wall is where I start uh, making my left hand turn. Even though the grooves a little deceiving, you want to be out here. Then come down, but um, I'm really getting low quite early. Your best bet, I think, is to hook this white line. You can see I'm starting to get a tiny bit loose, so I lift a tiny bit to kind of resettle the car and... Get right back to it. Again, trying to stay on this white line. Anything below it, and you'll probably spin the car or ruin the lamp completely. Use all the track. The closer you get to the outside wall on exit, the looser the car gets. Not sure why, it just happens. Now three and four. 
I kind of enter it a little bit later than I did in one. You can kind of see to follow the contour of the wall. You see it kind of flattens out here. You can see that there's like a little turn to it. That's when I start turning in quite a bit. I mean, obviously I already started the turn in, but you know, I really turn in at that point. You see it right there. I don't live, but again, it's quite hard to do. You want to hug this white line again. Again, if you go too low, it really upsets the car. Use all the track on exit. It's not too bad on exit. Four is actually pretty stable, but there you go. All right, that's the best I can do to explain a one and a half mile lap, but you get the point. I probably should have done a longer run and then talked about a late, you know, later lap. That way you get more of an idea how much to lift and all that. And I probably should have thought about that before I recorded this, but oh well. You'll figure it out. Especially trying to run a different line like up next to the wall. That's something you kind of got to do on your own. So maybe next time I'll do that. Now that I thought about it. Anyways, same race and chewy sign.